Relief supplies have reached people who are affected by flash floods in many locations of Pangna province in southern Thailand. Following torrential rain which caused flash floods in at least 28 villages in Takuapai district, around 1,500 people gathered at Takuapai Senanakong School on Wednesday to receive relief packages graciously donated by His Majesty the King of Thailand to the Rajapacha Anukra Foundation under royal patronage. The supplies are expected to relieve the victims' difficulties. They include canned food, clothing and snacks. According to figures released by the Provincial Disaster Prevention and Mitigation Office, Takuapa District was worst hit by the flood, with 3,410 households affected. A total of 18,407 farmlands were damaged, and with Time Wong District worst hit, followed by Takuapa Wong District and Takuapa Tung District. Related officials start to arrive in Phuket for the ASEAN ministers' meeting and other related meetings, while the military chief insists the meetings will run smoothly. Before the meetings begin today, the Thai Supreme Commander Song Kiti Chakrabat yesterday visited the Joint Operations Center for Security located at Phuket International Airport to be informed of the operation and preparation. And after the inspection trip, the Supreme Commander affirmed all units' readiness to facilitate security. He stated that the operation is divided according to functions. The Army Force is responsible for security on land and overall security. The Navy responsible for the marine areas, while the Air Force oversees aircraft and airports. The 4th Army region is responsible for the outer security as well as being backup for the police region 8 and, Poli and Phuket police. He told members of the public to be confident in the security measures. Meanwhile, the Phuket International Airport's arrival terminal is nicely decorated with a welcoming arch decorated by fresh Thai orchids. But silk material is used to decorate the VIP room with local souvenir items. According to the airport manager, Mr. Pratan Songkham, the airport has prepared five bays for aircraft parking to accommodate delegates' private jets. The information center under the security unit keep explaining to people about the checks they may have to face if getting near the meeting venues. Assistant Director of the Information Center under the Security Command Region 4, Colonel Sirisak Litlam, came out to apologize to members of the public and commuters as checkup points have been set up in locations near the meeting venues. He admitted that the security checks may have some delays, impacts or cause inconveniences for commuters, but called for residents to play their part in being good hosts. He also stressed that the vehicle stickers are mainly for residents in six sub-districts around the Laguna Hotel Group compound. They are Chantale, Tepkasatri, Sarisunton, Saku, Kamala and Maikau. He stressed that people who live outside these six sub-districts and who do not have any reason to visit such areas near, nearby the Laguna group of hotels, which are the meeting venues, do not need the stickers and are advised to use alternative routes to avoid traffic there. Floral businesses flourish for the ASEAN Foreign Ministers' Meeting. The floral farmers, among other businesses in Phuket, are reportedly benefiting from the ASEAN Foreign Ministers' Meeting and other, meet other meetings taking place in Phuket during July the 17th to the 23rd. The Provincial Agriculture Chief, Som Chai Heng Wacharapaibun, reported that demand for flowers rose dramatically and that local farmers received large orders. He cites one nearby farm had received orders for the whole crop for flower decoration. They include different types of orchids, heliconia and ginger. Some of them are also imported, he said. Mr. Sonchai expects a circulation from ornamental plants and flora sales of around 10 million baht during the meeting period. The office is also preparing to hold a floral and ornamental plant fair during July the 24th till August the 12th at Sapanhin to promote the business. 
Tlang Museum promoted forget local yaya costumes by arranging a local dress contest. Contestants from three different age groups were seen showing off their traditional local outfits in front of judges and audiences. The Forget Local Traditional Wear Fashion Contest was held by the Talan National Museum, aiming to promote the local attire among younger generations. The contest opened for 10 to 18 years, 19 to 35 years, and 36 years and above. The chief of Museum Ajima Nukong stressed that Phuket traditional dress is prominent and worth preserving as it's one of the valuable cultural heritages. Also, some local government offices now have their staff wear local attire to work once a week. The Office of Phuket City staff wear local outfits to work on Thursdays. Residents in Kribi joined hands to plant trees along roads to beautify the area. Kribi Province Governor Siwa Siri Sawalat led more than 300 residents in Kautong sub-district of Kribi Province to grow around 2,000 plants to promote beautiful road campaigns in their hometown. Other than planting flowers and plants, they also decorated grass and fixed traffic signs along the roadside. The project is initiated by the Department of Rural Roads to work with local authority and residents to have them play a part in, ro in road maintenance and beautification. The campaign is also to promote love and responsibility among the community as a whole. Expat resident and businessman Wally Tasker donated eight rye towards a second road from the airport to the city. Mr. Wijai Prysong of the Phuket Governor's Initiative to develop an alternative road linking Phuket Airport to the bypass road in the city is in progress every week. Just this week, Mr. Roddy Tasker, owner of Roddy Tasker Sales Company, visited the Governor's office to donate his eight rye plot of land. The land lies under the high voltage electric cables where the new road is planned to be built under the governor's two major development projects. Mr. Wichai said the land belongs to 210 private owners and since he proposed the new project, 15 of them have donated their plots. According to the plan, a gravel dirt road will be built in two parts of the initial stage. They are at Prujampa to Telang Technical College, totaling five kilometers, and behind British International School for another five kilometers. He will assign the local government to carry out the work by bringing in heavy machinery, by bringing in heavy machinery. For the remaining 21 kilometers, he will request funds from the government. Schools in Phuket remain open with preventative measures against AH1N1 introduced for students. Even though the AH1N1 flu virus epidemic has forced the Bangkok Metropolitan Authority to close schools in the capital, the institutions in Phuket remain open as normal. Students at Satri Phuket School came to school and carried out regular activities even though some opt to wear masks as preventative measures. According to the provincial chief doctor Pong Sawas Ratana Singh, 350 people have been diagnosed with the virus. They range from 18 to 40 years of age. One third of the patients are students. He seeks public cooperation to apply masks to protect themselves and be responsible for keeping clean and not spreading any virus in society in case they have a cold or flu. And finally, local news who get campaigns to replace plastic with cloth bags. Government officials and members of the public are again urged to use less plastic bags and replace them with cloth bags. The campaign is part of a plan to keep Phuket free of plastic bags. Phuket Governor Wichai Prysangop announced three strategic plans for the programs. They are to protect the environment, introducing all types of alternative energy and reduce the utilization of fossil or raw, raw oil energy. Due to the high number of unregistered population on the island, public utilities provision is insufficient. 
He stressed that the use of environmentally friendly material would also help reduce waste and global warming effects.